Hi, I'm Holly Allen, Miss Wyoming USA 2012, and I'm interviewing with thepageantguy.com. When I was announced Miss Wyoming USA 2012, I was in complete and utter shock because I there was another girl in the competition that I thought was going to win. Um, so I was so thrilled. I literally went like that. I threw my hands up in the air and just, I might have even uttered a little scream. I was so excited. Uh, so it was just a very giddy feeling. My, my face hurt for like the next week from smiling so much. Um, something about Wyoming that a lot of people don't know. And actually I learned this from a former Miss Wyoming USA 2010, Claire Schreiner. I guess I, I knew this, but she kind of reminded me of it recently that Wyoming has no escalators. And it's just so funny because something you wouldn't really think about, but we just don't. So <laughs> Kind of random. Yeah, I have 85 horses. Uh, <laughs> they're great. They're like my little extended family, you know, because most of them were born here at the ranch and I've named a lot of them. I've raised, you know, a lot of them. So they're like my little extended family. They all have their, they only have their little personalities. I kind of joke that it's like Thanksgiving dinner when you walk into my corral, you know, there's like the grouchy grandpa and there's like the crazy uncle. And then there's like the rambunctious kids table. So they're, they're like my crazy extended family. Let's see. Can you see the corral behind me? Oh, there's actually three horses. My favorite horse is, is here. So we have our little one-year-old. He's the youngest of the herd. And then we have a little two-year-old over here. So there's the babies. And then my wonder horse, Rio. I named him when he was born because he's white. And so I named him <laughs> Rio Blanco for White River. I don't know. I was really little, but he's my favorite horse. I actually do believe in the five second rule, but I'll tell you why. I grew up with a father who said, God made dirt and dirt don't hurt because we would be on camping trips, you know, in the middle of the wilderness and we'd get served dinner and whatever we had on our plate was the food that we had. Um, sometimes it was fish that we'd caught that day or whatever, but that was what we had. And being clumsy little girls, we would sometimes drop our food in the dirt and whine about it. And he would say, pick it up, blow it off and eat it because that's what you have. And God made dirt and dirt don't hurt. So shh, yeah, I believe in the five second rule, but don't tell anyone. <laughs> So I have lived in California. I went to school in Northern California. I also studied abroad in Australia. So it, it was a little bit of a transition at first to live in a bigger city. Coming from a town of 6,800 people, I mean, this is like rural, small town Wyoming. It was a bit of adjustment when I went to the bigger cities, but I love that sort of fast-paced lifestyle that you find in bigger cities. I'm I, I really like to, to have things ticking and have things firing and, and a lot going on. So I did like that aspect of it. So it's very different. <laughs> I definitely want to thank everybody who has put up with me throughout everything and everybody who is just supporting me through this whole process. It's really surprised me uh, how many people have just come out and shown so much love and so much support. And it is so awesome. It's the best feeling. And I'm so glad I get to take you guys all along on this journey with me. So I, my family is not exactly a pageant family. They are behind me 100% and it is awesome. And I have the best manager, the best directors, and I'm so excited to go to Miss USA and, and show the world what Wyoming has to offer.